Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Welcome back. Uh, in the previous lesson, we went through and looked at how to join letters to form words. In this lesson, we will look at vowels. Uh, we'll understand how to correctly pronounce the Arabic words. So the objectives are to understand what are vowels, look at what are short vowels, look at what happens when there are no vowels. We'll also look at long vowels. We'll understand what are diphthongs. And finally, we'll finish off with nanation, which is tanween. So what is a vowel? A vowel is a speech sound which is produced by the vocal tract. All English words are written with a vowel letter in them. And in English, five of the 26 letters are vowels, which are A, E, I, O, and U. In Arabic, they had no vowel signs. And because of this, non-Arabs found it difficult to read correctly. Uh, and the lack of vowel signs also created uh, more ambiguities, uh, more confusion. So if we take the example here, we see the letter kaf, and the letter ta, and the letter ba. When we join it together, it looks like this. Now this shape here has got two different meanings. So for instance, here we go. If we, it can mean kataba, can be pronounced as kataba, which is he wrote but also as kutub, which is books. So the question then is, if we see this written somewhere, how will we know which one of the two, sorry, not three, which of the two it is? Is it kataba or is it kutub? I suppose you could look at the context of the word, um, but you'd have to work that out. So because of this, vowels and hamza sign were added to the Arabic language. Um, so here we've got the letter when we put the vowels on the first one it looks like this so the three fathas so it's kataba and we'll cover what fathas are in a minute and the next one if we had here this is so when we read when people who can read the arabic language with the, with the vowel signs on them they'll be able to correctly pronounce what that word is okay so six vowel signs were added to the arabic language three were short vowels and three are long vowels and then we'll also have two diphthongs. Every consonant is provided with a vowel sign, uh, normally often not omitted in writing. Um, and vowels are not used in Arabic books and journals unless the pronunciation of a word needs to be precise. So the vowel is often referred to as haraka, which is movement. And the consonant with the vowel is called a mutaharik, which is moved. And then we have instances where there's consonants with no vowels. That's called sakin, which is resting. So the short vowels are written as signs above or below the consonants to which they belong. So you'll, you'll only see the, the vowel signs either above or below, but never ever to the side. Okay, so the first one is the line above, which is called fatha. Next one, we have the line below, which is called kasra. And then we have the Dhamma on the top, which is like the vowel, small vowel. Okay, so these three are what we call short vowels. Then we have an instance when there is no vowel. The, in that case, you will see this letter here, which is called the Sukun. Okay, so if we look at the first one, which is the Fatha. Fatha is a small diagonal stroke above the consonant. Okay, it's always above. Okay, and it makes the A sound just like the letter A in the English language. So if we take the word man, the A helps create that M sound. Okay, uh, similarly in Arabic, when we put the fatha on top of a letter, it makes the A sound. So if we take the letter ta, ta, and we add the A, it's ta. And the letter jim and A at the end, the fatha, it makes ja. Okay, so let's go through the letters. The first one is the letter Alif. Ah. Next one is the letter Ba. Ta. Tha. Ja. Ha. Kho. Da. Tha. Ro. Za. Sa. Sha. So, the, the, 
ضو ع غ ف ق ك ل م ن ه و ن ي Okay. So next we have some examples. Okay. The first one is ك ت ب ك ت ب Next one is أ ك ل أ ك ل Next one is ت ر ك ت ر ك So attached to this uh, video, there should be a link to a document that shows you the following letters that you can download and print. And what it does is covers all the letters with the Fathanid. And on here, it shows you all the letters, all the naughty letters, all the emphatic letters, all the way to the bottom. Okay, so what I would say is use this to do the exercise. And on the second page, we have uh, some exercises that you can do uh, at the same time. So what I would say is go through and read these. So ko ro a. Uh, but at the same time, then for uh, for each word, uh, do the joining exercise. So here we would say the qaf, then the ra, and then the alif. So qa ra, a, okay, and then you can do that all the way along, uh, and then go on to the second one and all the way through to the bottom. If you get stuck, uh, drop me a line or a message, and then I, uh, inshallah I will help you out. So what I would say is let's use those sheets to help you with these exercises. So let's do the first one, which is qa, ra, a, qa, ra, a. So do it slowly first and then speed it up. Okay, qa, ra, a, qa, ra, a. Next one is ka, ta, ba, ka, ta, ba. Next one is a, kha, the, a, kha, the. Next one. س ج د س ج د. Next one. ر ك ع ر ق ا. Next one is أ ك ل أ ك ل. Okay. Next one is ن ز ل ن ز ل. Next one. م س ح مسحة. Next one. ز ه ب ز ه ب. Next one. ج ل س ج ل س. Next one. ر ف ع ر ف ع ر ف ع Next one is غ س ل غ س ل. So next we have the kasra. So the kasra is a small line below the consonant, and it makes the e i or e sound, e sound, um, as in the letter i in the English language. So if we did letter in the word did, the d d, in the same way, the kasra makes the e sound. Okay. So here is t g. Okay. Let's go through the letters. First one is e. B, T, T, G, H, H, D, D, R, Z, C, 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 D, T, D, I, R, F, P, K, L, M, N, H. We and ye. Okay, let's go do some more exercises. So the first one. Now we're going to do the combination of the fatha and the kasra. So the first one is ha mi da ha mi da. Next one is kh shi ya kh shi ya. Next one sa mi a. سميع. Next one is ف ه م ف ه م. Next one ل ع ي 
ب لعب next one is خ سي را خسي را okay next one ح م د ح م د so next خ ش ي خ ش ي next one س م ع س م ع Next one, فهيمة فهيمة لعيبة لعيبة And finally, خسيرة خسيرة Okay Next one is حفظ حفظ Next one, شريبة شريبة Next one, la bi sa la bi sa. Next one is fa ri ha fa ri ha. Next one is sa hi ba sa hi ba. And finally, a di na a di na. Okay, so that's ha fi da, shari ba, la bi sa, fa ri ha. صحيبة أذناء. Okay. Next we have the letter dam. The dam. Okay. So which is like a small vowel above the consonant. Okay. And the vowel it makes the u sound as the letter u in the English language. So if we take the word bull, the u helps the b become bu bu. In the same way, the dam when you attach it on to a consonant it makes the u sound. So here we go two. Ju. Let's look at the letters. So we've got u, bu, tu, thu, ju, hu, hu, thu, thu, ru, zu, su, shu, su, thu, tu, zu, u, ru, fu. قو كو لو مو نو هو فو and يو. Okay. Do some exercises. So the first one. Now there's a combination of the فتح قصرة and the دم. Okay. So the first one is رو زي قا رو زي قا. Next one is أو كي لا أو كي لا. Next one. شو ريبا شو ريبا. We have كو سي را كو سي را. We have سو ريقا سو ريقا. We have فو تي ح فو تي ح. Okay, next one. ذو كي را ذو كي را. خو لقاء خلقاء. Next one is مني ع مني ع. هو دي هو دي. Next one is خو شراء خو شراء. And finally we have يعيد يعيد يعيد. Okay, so we've covered the fata, the qasra, and the damma. Next, we'll look at what happens when there is no vowels. Okay, which is called a sukun. So a consonant without any vowel mark is called a sakin, which is resting. And to show that the consonant has no vowel, a small circle is placed above the consonant. And this sign is called a sukun. So if we take this word here, and there's no no nothing on there. So to indicate there's no vowel, we would put a small circle there. So here, uh, what you do is you create the one sound. So it's anta, anta. Okay. So when one consonant has a vowel and the following letter is a sakin, then what happens is the two letters are joined together to create one syllable. Okay. So they will be read together 
to produce produce one joint sound. So if we look at this one, which is the calf and the meme, it'd be kam, one sound, kam. Next one is ha plus lam is hal. Next one, mean and noon, min. Okay, kam, hal, min. Okay, let's do some exercises. So the first one is the alif and the ba, which would be ab. Next one, ain plus dal. Odd. Next one, ha plus ta is hot. Hot. Next one is hal. Next one is min. Next one is head. Okay. Next one is ad. Rush Kul Kam. Now, here we've got three three uh, letters, so the first two have got vowels, so we Qa, Le, and then this one doesn't have one, so these two would join together to create one sound, so it is Qalam Qalam. Next one. Here we go, same again. So this got kasra at the beginning, so it's B. This one's got uh, the man in B ku, and there's nothing on there. So these two join to create one sound. So it'll be kum, bikum. Okay, here we go. One more. So the dial has a dhamma and the noon doesn't, and the ya has. So okay, so we'll say dun ya dunya. Next one. Is alif plus ba could create ab, and now here you don't see one on the dod. Normally, what happens is if you don't see a vowel on the last letter, assume that there is a sukun there. So here it'll be ab yad, ab yad. Next one is tar ham, tar ham. Next one is yar fa, yar fa. Next one is Yakra. And finally we have Fham. Fham. Okay, so that's it. Um, finally we'll finish off with something called diphthongs. Uh, and I just want you to know about diphthongs. So a diphthong is a sound made by combining two vowels together, especially when it starts as one vowel and goes into another. Uh, for example, if, when we look at the word oil, the oi, oi sound in oil it is taking the two vowels, oi, oi, oil. So that's two vowels, and what that's creating there is called a diphthong. Okay, so if we look at this word here, so here we've got oi, toy. Here again, coin, oi. Okay, next one is a okay so it's a and i it takes two vowels and it creates one syllable yeah air and then loud loud so in arabic um, there are two diphthongs we have the letter ya and we letter wow okay so i guess the question then is is this a long vowel or is this a diphthong we haven't covered long, long vowels yet but the question then is, is this a long vowel or, or, or a diphthong? Uh, and what, there's, there is rulings, okay? So when there's a fatha before the ya or the wow, um, and the letter, the ya or the wow has a sukun on it, then it's a diphthong, okay? So these are the two rules. One, whenever you see the fatha before the letter, and then one of these letters has a ya on it, uh, a sukun on it. Okay, so let me show you, I can give you some examples. So here, the ya diphthong. So here we've got the letter kaf and the ya. So the ya has a sukun and the letter before it has a fatha. So this would create the ai, which is k, k, f, yeah, k, f, k, f. Here, this is a diphthong. Next one is 
khair khair yeah so th these create the ai um, ai sound okay and that's the same whenever there's a ya and the fatha before it okay next one is again bait bait ai 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 next one aina aina okay so kaifa khair bait aina okay so the ya when it has a, a sukun on it and the letter before has a fatha it will be an ai sound ain kaifa khair bait aina okay next we have the wow diphthong and it's the same rules again the wow has a sukun and the letter before it has a fatha so here it'll make the fawqa a u sound o o faw fawqa okay above here it'll be som som so it creates the a u sound o sound okay next one is yom yom and finally we've got kothar kothar okay fawqa som yom kothar okay so that's the two diphthongs um, and that's the end of this lesson what we'll do in the next lesson is go through and show you how to do the long vowels okay thank you very much